Hello, Blake Rudis here with F64 Academy and F64 Elite, and today I'm going to show you a tool that is in Adobe Camera Raw and Lightroom that is specifically designed for expedited editing, okay? So you can do really simple things really quickly, like adjusting the curve or your hue, saturation, and luminance with a couple clicks, uh, right clicks and left clicks of the button. So we're going to take this before image that looks like this and do this in really quick steps without really even touching a slider in the process. So let's go ahead and jump into Adobe Camera Raw. If you're in Lightroom, you can follow along there and I'll show you all about this target adjustment tool. All right, so I have a big confession to make about this tool. It's the targeted adjustment tool, and it's been in Adobe Camera Raw and Lightroom since, gosh, probably 2009. So it's 2017, <laughs> it's about eight years, and I haven't used this tool since the first time I touched it. So when it came out, I, I know I used it, but I didn't know what it was doing, so I stopped using it. Because if you're anything like me, if I touch something in my workflow, and I see that it's doing something, but I can't pinpoint exactly what it's doing, I don't ever want to touch it again until I figure out how that thing is working. And now that I know how the targeted adjustment tool works, I'm actually pretty excited about it. It is in Adobe Camera Raw and in Lightroom. If you look up here, it's this little uh, arrow, kind of like a little target with a, you know circles around it and stuff. It's the target adjustment tool. You can also press T to get the target adjustment tool. So the first time I used it, what I did was I just clicked somewhere on my image and I just moved it to the left and right. I was like, oh, that's, that's cool. My image is getting brighter. Or, oh, that's cool. Some of the parts of my image are getting darker. But the thing is, I didn't know what it was doing. If you click on here and hold, it's going to open up and say parametric curve, hue, saturation, luminance, or grayscale mix. Right now, the check mark is set to the parametric curve. Another way to get in there is to right click. And now we see that I'm in the parametric curve. So those settings that I just made on this image did this to the curve. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset my camera roll defaults and show you that again. I'm going to select maybe this area right here because I want this water to be a little bit brighter. Well, if I click on it and I move it to the right, I'm now making it a little bit brighter in all of the selected pixel values that are the same as this. So it, looking at that parametric curve, it grabbed that curve and it moved it up. So anything that's in that same realm will also get moved. If I come down here to a darker area, move that to the right, you'll see that it's opening up the darks in my image based on where that rests in the curve, which if you look over there on the right hand side, it looks like it's in the shadow areas. Well, let's bring that down in the shadows areas. Obviously, at this point, you could come in here and you could fine tweak some things and you could use the sliders as they are, but I'm just going to leave this just like this. One of the things about me and the curve is I don't really like to use the curve in Adobe Camera Raw because I don't have my blending options like luminosity and color, and I like to apply my curve with those things. But there's some other things that we do need to talk about when it comes to the targeted adjustment tool. If I right click and go to, let's say, saturation, okay? If I were to click any on any of these areas in my image, it's going to select what color that is. If I move it to the left, it's going to desaturate it. If I move it to the right, it's going to saturate it. But notice that because that orange is also has some red pixels in it, it's not just moving the orange, it's moving the red also. So it's moving a range of colors as I do that, very similar to how it moves the parametric curve, and not just the one little part of that curve, but the areas around it as well. This makes for more natural editing, okay? So now let me grab, let's say the blues up here, and I click and I move this to the right, that's gonna make all my blues a little bit more vibrant with a little bit more punch because I'm adding more saturation to them. If I right click at any time, I can change the hue of this. So I can click up on the blue, maybe change the hue. Maybe I want that blue to be a little bit more magenta, to give this a little bit more warmth instead of it being that you know, cyan or blue color. I want to invite that warmth that we have from the sunset. So if I move this over, it'll get us more towards the purples and the magentas. If I right click, I can also change the luminance. So I can look at any color here and maybe select this red and bump it up. It's now going to get brighter red and orange are getting brighter because they're locally close. If I move it to the left, that red and that orange are getting a little bit darker. That's pretty cool. This is just quick, fast editing with the targeted adjustment tool. What you can also do with this is you can do a grayscale mix. So this is where you could also kind of adjust your black and white settings as well. So if you select this, it's not going to reset all of your settings here. It's just going to go to the grayscale mix and convert your hue saturation over to the grayscale side. So if we were to click on this and move it over and move it to the left and to the right, you can start to get certain colors darker and lighter. So lighter by moving them to the right and darker by moving them to the left. And what I'm doing here is you don't see it, but this hand is clicking on something and moving to the left or to the right. 
It's just a movement of the mouse. So instead of moving, coming over here and tediously going after these sliders, you can pinpoint exact areas that you need to make darker or lighter with that targeted adjustment tool and brighten them up and darken them down however you see fit. With this though, if you go back at any time to hue, saturation, or luminance, it's going to reset those grayscale mix and get you back to where you were with your color image. So it's not a new tool at all, okay? The target adjustment tool is not new at all. It's 2017, eight years later, and I'm just now finally breaking down this tool for you. I've targeted many tools over the time, but I have not targeted the targeted adjustment tool, the irony in that statement. Basically what it's used for is to target and pinpoint certain areas of your image for faster, more expedited editing. So at any time you can right click, change over to the curve and be affecting your tones and your colors right here with your parametric curve. Or if you come over here to the hue, saturation, and luminance, any color that you select, it will adjust whatever it is that you're in, whether that's hue, which is gonna be changing a color to another color, saturation, increasing the intensity of a color or luminance, increasing how much white or black there is in that color. So again, my name is Blake Rudis. <laughs> Please don't discredit me for not teaching you this tool for the last eight years. <laughs> Uh, I promise I know what I'm doing. <laughs> if you like this, please give me a thumbs up, like it, share it, tell a friend, comment on it. And uh, if you have any thoughts or additions on the targeted adjustment tool, we'd be happy to hear them. Thanks again for uh, watching this tutorial and increasing your knowledge and your creative passion. I do appreciate it. Mm -hmm.